All right, everyone. Welcome back to Obi Dog Plays. This is episode three of our Far Cry series. Uh, last episode, we left off by being picked up by a random man, and um, he asked us to change clothes. So let's change some clothes. Oh, well, it looks like I get to change more than my clothes. Um, well, look at all those good options. There's something about these options that all look the same, even though they are quite different. But we'll go with that basic white guy. What's that? And now we get to pick hair. I think I'm gonna do it's quite an aggressive orange there on that on the side. What do I wanna do? I'll play as a ginger. Oh yeah, it is kind of an aggressive orange, okay. I do like that hairstyle though. I guess I'll play brown hair. Come on, brown hair. Oh. For some reason you get to all get plastic surgery at a specific point in the game. I kinda like that green. Green cargoes, light cargoes, brown cargoes, or camel cargoes. Well god forbid I want to wear anything but cargoes. That's okay. Um show off the guns or eh. I think we'll go for the button down. Oh well, that that goes well with the I'll just, I'll just blend in. Headwear. You should be able to wear this backwards. It's a very specific vibe. And handwear, oh, of course. <laughs> Black leather gloves. Or bandages. Um, we'll go black. Cool. He means business. The world is a diagonal. I am the balancing point. You've had that thought 10 times? So, I mean, you've had that thought for 10 days. <laughs> it's the system here. If you want to read that, you can. I did not have the energy. Interesting. I'll start reading these eventually, but I'm sure it's just saying the time. Hello? Please. Anyone there? Peggy's rolled in here like an army. Started throwing people in the trunk, taking her food, and then I just heard nothing from gunfire. People are dying. Please, someone help us. I don't know how much longer we can hold out. Please. Begging you, if you've got a gun, get to fall in. Oh, I'm coming. Goodbye. Okay, so I was looking at this and I was like, is this like dog shampoo? Because it has the paw on it. And I was like, look, a photo of a dog. So maybe it is dog shampoo with your periodic tables and your bedpan. Da, 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 da. What's in here? I need a key. <laughs> what are you saying? Kek kek? Kek kek. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. <laughs> Karen? Gerald. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna go through everywhere. What can I take? Seems like someone needs to do laundry. Okay. Yes, okay. I'll go in this room. So. That didn't. You there? This is Ray Ray. What the hell is going on? We've we've heard a miss of gunshots and I <gasps> Look at all those fishies. What's up with this room, by the way? Is this like the smoking lounge? How much are we gonna stand for? Anyway, call back when you can. And take care of yourself. Alright, I'll call you back later. Bye, Illy. Oh, the red room. John Seed. Oh, we'll do this. John Seed, the Baptist. Youngest of the Seed brothers and maybe the most sadistic. In charge of recruiting for the cult. Marking, cleansing, confession, atonement. 
Those are the four steps he puts in everyone through to become a member of Ian's Gate, if they survive. John tells everyone to accept the power of yes as a way to get his followers to whoever the fuck he wants. Great A psychopath. Say yes. Then we have Jacob Seed, the soldier. Oldest brother of the Seeds in charge of training their militia up in the Whitetail Mountains. Only thing he believes in is sacrifice the weak. Seems to be running a few psychological experience up north. Experiments up north. All sorts of nightmare stories about people turning on one another. The drop of a hat. Why can't I read right now? <laughs> Has been linked to the creation of the monster wolves up north the cult calls judges. But I'm a wolf. Do you think I can connect with them? Hello? Faith, the siren. Don't know how she's related. <laughs> Seems like she just showed up one day. So lots of questions about that. She'll spin you a sob story, but Faith is a liar and a manipulator. She'll poison your mind with bliss if you give her the chance. Anyone who goes wandering into the Henbane River winds up either dead or walking the path to become one of those brain-dead angels doing all the cult's hard labor. The caps on these is funny. If you just read the caps, it's liar, manipulator, bliss, walking the path, angels. Anyone who falls in? And of course, Joseph Seed, the father. I mean, it seems accurate. So is she a daughter? Leader of the project at Eden's Gate, he believes the great collapse is coming and thinks of himself as a modern day Noah. Thinks God speaks to him, told him to save as, <laughs> save as, new file, many souls as he can. <laughs> now that he's started the reaping his followers are willing to die for him he's had his people build three massive bunkers to protect themselves when the prophecy comes there true the guy is an absolute nut job by his people do you mean those three to just read those in weird order <laughs> don't mind me I'm just gonna like poke around good you found something that fits oh <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I didn't properly introduce I myself. I didn't plan that. There. Most folks call me Dutch. I've been trying to piece together what's happening up top. It ain't good. Little I can gather is that your partners are alive. Cool. Right now. It's a lot of. Seems they've been split up. Each one handed off to a different member of Joseph's family. What about me? You want it back? I get it. I get it. I got friends that've been taken too. Problem is. There ain't no help coming. Nobody knows what's going on here, and they won't know until it's too late. There's got to be people out there willing to fight back against this cult. We just, we need to show them how. Don't worry, I'm here to fuck we shit need up. to build us a resistance. Yeah. So the first thing we're going to do is get control of this island. Yeah. Once we got some breathing room, we can figure out what's coming next. Okay. I'm ready. There's a gun and a map in the Dude. safe over there. Take them. I'll give you a call on your radio once you get your bearings. Wow. You have a remote control safe? Is that Bluetooth? That was cool. Oh, the door really opened. I have a map, a key, a. Uh, I'll have a pistol. Glad I can just, like, go right in here. Hello? 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 Oh, hello? I got. I can't read all these. I just. I, I want to, but there's just no chance. All of that is only two ammo. Seems like more than two. Why can't I have one of those? Oh, he's just talking on his radio. Where's my gun? Oh, I can't use it while I'm down here. Right, right, right. I think I have to go this way, and I go this way. It's a long way. And I go this way. And I say, toodaloo. There's just like one standing right there. All right, I have 32 ammo. And I'm on top of the mountain. Now listen up. If you're gonna build a resistance, I mean, I'm there's some things you need to know. Okay. There's four ways you can go about this. First, you can liberate any hostages the cult's taken. Mm -hmm. These are good people. We might just fight alongside you if you help them. Any of them will. Second, you can destroy Eden's Gate property that's all over the place now. 
Hell, they built two goddamn shrines in this island alone. You can get a list at the Third, town hall. You can tackle resistance missions. There are a lot of folks out there waging their own war. <laughs> Talk to me cult, on the radio and I'll and tell you what to do. And last, if you're really looking for a fight, you can take on the cult outposts that have popped up across the county. Liberating those places will give the resistance solid footholds to push back against Eden's Gate. Oh, okay. Thank you, weird voice in my head. I've got cameras set up all over this island. I'll keep an eye out for anything useful. For now, head south. Right there. Take out any culture you see. Right there. And help any folks in need, would you? Helps head Touch south. Up. Bop, bop. Dun, 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 dun. Whoa. Dun. Ah, uh, <gasps> prepper stash. Yay. Okay. So we are going to prioritize getting Grace because she's a badass. Oh right, you can't just walk up. Thanks for saving my sorry ass. You're welcome. Can These we chat? fanatics are out of control. If you want to protect yourself, I think there's a prepper stash near the boathouse. Thanks. Should have some good gear squirreled away. That was too close. I can't recruit you. You can't recruit everybody. Oh, I thought you could. Okay. Prepper stash at the boathouse. Hold on, I'm looting. Oh, there's a mission up here eventually, isn't there? Cult shrine. Nice. Message. Hey Henry. Hi Henry. How's my loot already full? <clears throat> Playing this game for like four minutes. I'm going after this prepper stash. Let's read the thing. Hi, Mike. Yeah, sure, I'll track that. It's just. Oh, you need power. I remember how to do this one. The key is to not overcomplicate it. How do you?
Okay. I can only carry one weapon, can't I? Oh god, I can carry two. I love a bow. Alright, now there's gonna be an enemy outside. Just be ready for that. Can I get perk magazines? No. Are perk magazines on? I think, yeah. It's so sad. Stamina, my friend. Y'all didn't hear any of that? That's good. Seven arrows, that should be plenty. That's good bow to start with. literally just there <laughs> like literally just there <laughs> all right well we should probably pick this up next episode Ooh, the look at them down there. all right well thank you all for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe if you like this sort of thing and i'll see you next time